Hello Kids Place friends, welcome to another episode of Kids Place where kids come to play, learn, achieve, create, and explore. I'm Ms. Traherne and this is my co-host Mrs. Day. Let's start with our hello song. Hello friends, how are you? We're very happy to see you. Greet your neighbor, boogie on down. Give a bump and turn around. Hi friends, it's me, Miss Patty, and I'm super excited to share my new toothbrushing song with you. That's right, we finally did a toothbrushing song, and I know that you're all very good at it, but I wanted to run by how you should brush your teeth. So have you ever really thought about it? So come and join me. We're gonna sing along after I show you this to the new toothbrushing song. So this is what you do first. Get your toothbrush, all right? Put the water on. Rinse it just a little, turn the water off. That's really important to turn the water off. And then put a little teeny, I'm gonna show you in here, a little teeny dot of toothpaste. And then you brush your chompers, which are these teeth, those big teeth that chomp the food. And then you brush your smile. And then you brush the sides. So this is how I do it. Ready? Come on, let's join in. And you go round and round like this. Mmm. And when you're all finished, you rinse your brush again. I shake it a little bit, get the water out. You let it dry and you take a little sip of water. Swish it in your mouth and spit it out. Then you turn the water off and you're finished. That was a great job you did. Now let's sing along to this song. It's two minutes long. So make sure that you brush your teeth for two minutes. So that's a long time, but we can have fun when we're doing this. When you're finished brushing your teeth, you floss. Have you ever flossed before? This helps get anything that's inside your teeth out. And in the video, it'll show you how to do it. So I hope that you keep brushing in the morning and in the evening and singing along all day long, thinking that after you eat, it's a good time to brush and get all that food out of there. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I brush my chompers, I brush my smile. I brush my chompers for a while. And I go round and round and round and round and round. And side to side to side to side to side. I brush my chompers, I brush my smile. I take my toothbrush out and rinse it under water. Then I put some toothpaste on my toothbrush. I rinse it one more time, then turn the water off and I'm ready. To start, I brush my chompers, I brush my smile, I brush my chompers for a while, and I go round and round and round and round and round, and side to side to side to side to side, I brush my chompers, I brush my smile, I swish my mouth with water, then spit it in the sink, and sometimes I even take a little drink, then rinse my brush again and turn the I brush my smile, I brush my chompers for a while. And I go round and round and round and round and round. And side to side to side to side to side. I brush my chompers, I brush my smile. And don't forget to floss. Don't forget to floss. Now my teeth. I brush my 
my chompers, I brush my smile. I brush my chompers for a while. And I go round and round and round and round and round. And side to side to side to side to side. I brush my chompers, I brush my smile. Hello friends and welcome to another learn segment of Kids Place. Fanny, we have been doing a lot of celebrating lately. There's been so many different holidays, hasn't there? February is a busy month. February is a busy month. Last episode we um, celebrated Valentine's Day and we talked all about how much we care for our friends and how we can show them our love. This week we're going to focusing on be focusing on something different. Um, what was one of the most exciting things that you got for Valentine's Day, Fanny? Candy! Yes. Everybody receives a lot of candy for Valentine's Day, and it is delicious to eat, but it also causes some problems sometimes. What do you think it might cause some problems for? Probably for the kids' teeth. Yeah. It's really important that we think about our teeth when we're eating a lot of candy. And it just so happens that February is also Dental Health Month. So for today's episode, we're going to be focusing a lot on dental health, how you can properly clean your teeth, and how you can take care of them on like a yearly basis. So we're going to be learning a lot of different information about our teeth, how to clean them, how to care for them. Do you want to check it out? Where are we going to go first? That's a good question. We're going to head up to a real live dentist office where we're going to see how the dentist cleans children's teeth. Do you want to go check it out? Ooh, cool, yes. All right, let's go. Today, Kids Place is coming to Tender Care Dentistry in Charlotte Hall, Maryland. We are coming to visit Dr. Dana Kim to learn all about taking care of our teeth and get some pointers from a real live dentist in our very own town. Hello, Kids Place families and friends. We are very lucky today to be here with Dr. Dana at Tender Care Dentistry in Charlotte Hall, Maryland. And in honor of Dental Health Month, we would like to talk about some good oral health habits. So welcome, Dr. Dana. Hi, I'm so excited to talk to you guys about oral health and cleaning and all that stuff. So we have a few questions for you. We want our viewers to do what is absolutely best for their teeth and for their mouth. So could you give us some advice on what to do at home to help our viewers? Okay, so first of all, very, very important. You wanna brush your teeth at least two times a day. Two times a day is ideal for two whole minutes okay. each time, every morning and every night. And like I tell all our kids, the nighttime brushing is extra important because at night your saliva slows down, everything you know that you've been eating through the day is gonna be sitting in your mouth more during the night. So that's why it's extra important to do that nighttime brushing. Is there a way to help us reach that two minute mark? Do you have advice? For oh families? yeah, so a lot of the electronic toothbrushes, they have timers on them. Okay. But even if you don't have those, you know, there's so many other ways you can do it. A really fun way is if you turn on some music, right? A, a song on the radio or, you know, that you play on your phone, about two minutes. Right. So if you okay. brush your teeth the whole time, that's two minutes, easy. If you don't want to do that and you want to do something like an egg timer, those are usually two minutes as well. Okay. You know, you, those little um, hourglass things that you find in the games, those are usually one minute, so you flip it over one time, but you know, that's all valid ways to do the whole two minutes. Okay. So when is it important to come see someone like you at the dentist office? So, oh, you know what? I forgot to mention flossing. 
That's super important. Oh, let's go back to <laughs> flossing. Oh, yes. How often do we have to floss? So you want to floss once a day, right? Once a day. Right, okay. and it doesn't have to be at the time that you're brushing your teeth. It could be any time. I'm going to say it's better to do it at night, but I'd rather have you do it any time of day if you do it at all, right? Do you recommend those floss picks or the actual floss string? So if you're small and you're a kid, you're, you know, you're like three or eight, well, a floss pick's going to be way better for you because you don't have too many fingers to try to get all into that little tiny mouth. That's true. Right? That is true. It's so much easier. And if you use it the right way, you're going to do it just fine. We'll talk about flossing the right way with those floss picks in a little bit. Okay. So we're going to get a demonstration, something to look forward to. Is there anything else that you want to tell our families about taking care of their oral health? Um, yeah, there's, I wish I could go into like a whole spiel about it, but the most important things besides brushing and flossing is to make sure that you are eating the right way, drinking the right way. We want uh, at least two to three hours between the times that you're eating food because as often as you eat, the bacteria in your mouth are eating too. And when the bacteria oh. eat, they're making uh, basically a mess inside your mouth. And you don't want that to happen. You want a nice clean mouth, right? Okay. And how often should we come and see someone like you? I would say every six months, you know, okay. so because baby teeth are little, very thin, and we want to be able to make sure they're not going to grow cavities. When they do grow cavities, they tend to grow pretty quick. I like to see our kids starting from about one within six months of their first tooth because that's, you know, even though you're only one, you're still eating food, you still have teeth, right? We want to get you started on the path to having a nice healthy mouth. Also, you don't want that first visit to be like an emergency visit. That would be a terrible way to start your life at the dentist. Right, it's always good to come in when you're feeling good the first time. Exactly. For a good checkup. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for answering my questions. We would love to see a demonstration so that you could show us how to properly take care of those teeth. Okay, let's get to that. All right, so we're gonna start with brushing. All right, so everybody has their toothbrush at home. I've got this handy guy right here. And when you brush teeth, you wanna make sure that you not only brush straight right here at your teeth, but you're gonna turn that toothbrush and brush your gums too. So can you see we're brushing those gums all the way around? On the bottom, same thing. You're gonna brush the gums on the bottom and the teeth, right? You're gonna do all the way around, top and bottom, lots of little circles, flipping that toothbrush all over the place, right? And then you're gonna open nice and big, probably not as big as this guy but you're gonna brush all those chewing parts, right? The chewing parts where the grooves of your teeth are, top and bottom. And you can't forget, you gotta brush those tongue sides right in here. So brushing all the tongue sides at the gums, just like you were doing in the back at the front. And they're gonna turn that toothbrush almost straight up and down to brush behind those front teeth. Same way up here. Almost straight up and down, trying to brush behind those front teeth. That's the brushing part. Remember we were talking about that floss pick? This is the right way to use it. So you get it down between those teeth, and then you're going to bend it. You see how it's bending around this side? We're scrubbing up and down. And then we bend it the other way, scrub up and down. And we come up. And you do that all the way around your mouth. Sometimes it's a little tricky to do your top teeth, if you have problems doing your top teeth, you just have to ask an adult. Ask your mom and dad, grandmother, whoever. They can help you do your top teeth the right way. Oh, I forgot one very important thing. When you're brushing on your teeth, you also have to remember to brush your tongue at the end. That's, that way you can have nice fresh breath. Hi, my name is Mrs. Farrell and I'm the dental assisting teacher at the Forest Center and today we're going to read a storybook to Fanny, our little friend here who's a patient at the dental office. And um, we're going to read the story just going to the dentist. Mom took me to the dentist. She said I needed a checkup. I didn't need a checkup. My teeth were just fine, but we went anyway. 
At the dentist's office, we met the nurse. She gave us a big smile. I think she was showing off her teeth. The dentist wasn't ready to see me yet, so we sat in the waiting room. Other kids were there too. One of the bigger kids had wires all over her teeth. Mom said they were braces. I thought they were neat. I hoped I would get braces. We had to wait a long time there, but there were toys to play with and books to read. When it was my turn, the nurse came to get me. I had to see the dentist all by myself, but I didn't mind too much. We went into a really weird room. It looked like a spaceship. I sat in a funny chair. It was called a dentist chair, and the nurse put a bib on me. Then the nurse said that she was going to clean my teeth. It tickled a lot. She told me to spit in the sink. No grown-up had ever asked me to spit before. That was cool. Next, she took pictures of my teeth. They were called x-rays, just like super critters, x-ray vision. Then the dentist came in. He looked inside my mouth with a little mirror on a stick. The pictures of my teeth were ready, so the dentist called in my mom, and we all looked at the pictures of my teeth. The dentist said I had one cavity and that he could fix it right then. They put me back in the dentist's chair. The dentist told me he was going to give me something so I wouldn't feel anything. I closed my eyes real tight and counted to 10. Before I knew it, the dentist said it was over. I hardly felt anything. Yuck, then my mouth went numb. It was weird. I couldn't feel my tongue. Then the dentist said he was going to drill a hole in my tooth and clean out my cavity. There was a lot of noise in my mouth, but it didn't hurt. When the dentist finished, he sent me out to my room and the nurse gave me a treat for free. It was a sticker. The end. For the dental health theme today, uh, in our Create segment, we are going to very simply link on to last week's episode with monsters. Mm -hmm. We made some very simple monsters. We took a piece of construction paper. We uh, did a little bit of cutting yep. so that it would fit inside a gallon Ziploc bag. Yep. And we're going to slide it in so that the face is showing clearly all the way through. Yep. Zip it closed. And I always squeeze out the air bubbles. Oh, good thinking. And the squeezing is also very good for our youngsters mm -hmm, in their pinch, fine zip. motor exercise yep. mm -hmm. as they prepare to be writers. Now, we have a very large mouth. Yours is a little larger than mine. Maybe <laughs> I should have made mine wider. Um, we're going to take a dry erase mm -hmm. marker and we are going to draw on where you might think germs would go when you're eating. Okay. Okay. Just going to draw on some of those marks. Maybe down by the gum line, in between the teeth, wherever you think they are. I don't know, kids will probably get carried away with this part, and mm -hmm. that's okay too. That is okay. All right. Then. We're going to take an old toothbrush, mm -hmm. maybe after yours has lived its life mm -hmm. and you're ready for a new one, don't throw it away, save it for a project like this. Yep. And we're going to use, instead of an eraser, we're going to use the toothbrush to practice our brushing. Just like yeah. Dr. Dana taught us in today's show, how we move our toothbrush. Yep. So we would hold with our helper hand. Mm -hmm. our monster face, then use our toothbrush to go up and down and maybe make some small circles. And this might be also good practice to set your timer on your phone yeah. or your watch if you have one for two minutes. Uh-huh. And get used to what two minutes feels like. Yeah, build that stamina. Now, another thing, I'm going up and down, I'm making circles. You also want to go back and forth. Mm -hmm. And 
and that's how you would practice with a an old toothbrush mm -hmm. and a Ziploc bag and a monster for fun. Friends, I have had so much fun today learning about dental health. How about you, Fanny? I've learned so much today. Yeah, it's been so exciting. We have one more stop. Ooh! Yeah. For our Explore segment today, we are going to head over to the Tech Center for the Dental Assisting Program. Did you know that there are students that are in high school that are learning how to be dental assistants? I did not. Isn't that amazing? Oh, this is going to be fun. Fun. What a cool thing to learn. Why don't we go over and see some of the tools that they use and some of the things that they learn to help to be a great dental assistant. The Forest Technology Center has a dental assisting program you can go to in high school. They learn all about teeth and how to take care of them, including cleaning or sterilizing your equipment, how to take x-rays, and how to clean your teeth. What a great class if you're interested in learning more about taking care of your teeth. If you would like to check us out more, you can find us at the local cable channel number 96 or on SMCPS YouTube. And you can also email us at kidsplace at smcps.org. It's that time in the show where we have to say goodbye. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Bye friends. See you next time.